friends, it's Katie, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another favorites video. Today, I'm going to be filming my June favorites. Now, I haven't done a favorites video since my current favorites over the past few months video, which I will link down below and in the cards. I haven't done one since then because I wasn't really having too many favorites and stuff, and I have honestly don't have too many favorites now, but I feel like I have enough to make a video. But I'm really excited to be bringing you my June favorites. I do have a good amount of favorites, and I do have some things that I do really want to share and I don't really feel like waiting another month not to show you anything so I figured I'd just share it with you now and stuff and yeah I'm really excited about this I hope you are too and stuff like that and yeah let's just get right into my June favorites okay so first I have to say my end of the month kind of favorite is my new hairstyle now I think you've seen it at least in one video and stuff so I do love my new hair it's like shoulder length and I'm really digging it at first it took a little getting used to but I'm really happy with it and I'm really happy with the decision to cut my hair just because my hair wearing it up all the time in summer is a no-no. I do not like that. Okay, so yeah, let's get into the favorites. I guess we can start out with skincare because I do have two skincare items. I think one of them I might have mentioned in my last favorites video, but that's okay. It's still my favorite and I want to talk about it. So the first one is a micellar water. It's my new favorite micellar water. Yes. And this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is an all-in-one makeup remover and it's supposed to, you know, take off my makeup, just take off everything and cleanse my skin. I love this micellar water. It is so amazing. I've tried the blue one from Garnier, which is the waterproof one, which worked really great, but I found that with my dry skin that I didn't really like that one anymore. It just was too drying being that took off waterproof makeup. And I find this one still takes off makeup really well, even waterproof mascara, but it's not as harsh on my skin. It's more hydrating for my skin, which I really love. I've had it for maybe a month and I've used up this much, which isn't a lot. I go in between using makeup wipes and using this, I go back and forth with it. I really like this just because I can remove my makeup. It's easy to remove my eye makeup. Then a lot of times I'll either double cleanse my face or I'll just use something else for my face. But I do really like this and I do think it's just amazing for removing makeup. Actually, I have three skincare items. I just realized that. Okay, so the next item that I'm really loving is this Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. And this is supposed to hydrate and refresh your skin, which I love. I am obsessed with this little just like you know toner I guess I don't know I love this and I've had this for a couple months and I've only used like this much that's amazing I do have a backup of this I love this so freaking much I don't use it every day but I do use it pretty often I just don't really use it every day I don't know why it just really hydrates my skin and it's like a rose water just like Mario Badescu I've never actually tried that but I kind of want to but I really like this it's only a couple of dollars at Trader Joe's I know people are saying this might be limited edition I'm really hoping it's not because I love this so much and the ingredients in it were very like natural I guess like it really doesn't have any bad ingredients in it it has just you know your typical ingredients just natural ingredients and stuff and I do really like it I do love the smell I love rose and just anything rose smells so good but rose water is so good for your skin it just really hydrates your skin this is great after I wash my face whether if it's morning or night and I also love this after exfoliating because after exfoliating you need like a fresh in your skin you need something to really just hydrate your skin and this is great for that and I love this so much it's definitely a must go get you some if you haven't already because this is amazing and I love this rose water so much okay so the last skincare item that I have which I kind of forgot about for a second here and this is from Rada Beauty this is the Rada Beauty rose hip oil as many of you know I am post Accutane and I did take Accutane for six months and now I'm post Accutane and on Accutane obviously I couldn't use this because it would make me break out on Actane. I don't know why but it would and I've heard that from other people as well but uh, now post Actane I'm trying to work on my scars and I'm trying to just use something that's going to hydrate my skin and I love this. So basically in the morning I take this and I do like about three to four drops into my moisturizer. That's how I use it in the morning and rose hip oil is known to just you know like help treat your scars and I've been using this for maybe a month now and I feel like my scars are slowly fading just fading and nicely just looks like this and everything it has the full dropper and stuff like you just 
you know, grab the product and then you drop it. I love just, you know, getting product and then dropping it back in there. It's fun to just play with the dropper, honestly. Not gonna lie. And yeah, so this is the 100% pure rosehip oil. You want any oils, especially ones you're putting on your face to be 100% pure. Even ones you're just gonna diffuse, it's better to have them be like 100% pure just because they don't really affect you and stuff like that. Definitely, I love this oil. I feel like it's really just changed my skin. And at night, I do use this as my moisturizer. And yeah, I really love this. Really helping my scars and stuff. And I absolutely love rosehip oil. This is my favorite. You can get it on Amazon. I will have all these products I'm talking about linked down below. Okay, so now on to makeup. I only have like you products to talk about, but I'm super excited about the ones that I do have to mention. So the first one is from NYX. And I'm actually almost out of this. So you might see this in empties video very, very soon. But this is the NYX Hydro Touch Primer Base, which I am obsessed with this primer. It is amazing. I freaking love this. This is a hydrating primer, which I love. And this is my favorite like makeup product like on Actane to like really hydrate my skin. This is great under makeup and it's amazing primer. It really just keeps your skin hydrated. And apparently it's infused with chamomile, green tea, and ginseng root extract to create a perfect canvas and give your skin a radiant boost, which I feel like it definitely does. I, like I said, I'm obsessed with this primer. It just really hydrates my skin. And a lot of times I will mix it with an illuminator to even give my skin an extra glow, which I love. It's kind of been my favorite thing. So yeah, loving this. Okay, so next I have another like dewy, hydrating kind of product that I've been obsessed with. So this is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. I freaking love this setting spray. So I use this like on a daily basis as my setting spray. I really love this. I just, you know, I usually, I'll either apply it before I do mascara or after everything is all dry and on. And it just gives you that nice glow. You can, like you can see, I have somewhat of a glow to my skin. And it really just even like, even I'm using a sponge after to kind of like pat everything in, it gives me a natural look to my face and it keeps me hydrated, which I love. I just love dehydration. I just need the hydration and I really like just looking dewy every day because I need that glow in my skin I like my skin to look healthy and glowy and this setting spray is amazing I love it and it's drugstore and it's honestly better than any high-end setting spray I've ever tried so that says a lot okay so next I have a powder that I've been loving even with dry skin I love this primer and I still have dry skin I love it and this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder which I love I have mine in the shade 10 which is fair Claire um, and I love this powder. It is so amazing. The packaging is kind of a little bit messy, but I guess that kind of happens sometimes and stuff. But I love this powder just because it doesn't really emphasize any dry skin that I have. I just, I powder with a sponge. I'll take either my Real Technique sponge or one of my other sponges and I will set with this and I'll just put it under my eyes and then I'll put it on my cheek area and just anywhere where I want to set. I don't set my whole face because otherwise I get way too dry. But I love this because it doesn't emphasize any dry skin and it's really easy to apply the packaging is kind of a pain like you basically twist it off it's like a square and then you have your powder there you have a sifter but I find that just like sometimes too much powder gets in there and always powder flies up I don't know if you can see that in the camera but powder is flying up and the packaging is kind of a pain but I do really like this powder and I think it's really nice it doesn't emphasize any dry skin I have which I appreciate because that's a pain when it does that and yeah I really like this powder and it's just been really kind to my dry skin okay so now Next, I have a favorite mascara, and this one honestly has become my new holy grail. Oh my god, I love this. So this is the Essence Lash Princess False Eyelash Effect Mascara. I freaking love this mascara so much. First of all, the packaging is very simple, but also super cute. Like, I just love this. I know they have other mascaras too in this line. Like, they have a, they have other ones, like in other color packagings, but I'm obsessed with this one, and it's only like $4, this mascara, and it is freaking amazing. I freaking love it. And like I said, it's an Essence Slash Princess Mascara. I love this. It's the mascara I have on right now. And it just gives me such like good length and volume. And it just really makes my eyelashes look honestly fake, which I love. And I just love how it gives me that eye long eyelash effect. I find it looks great just in pictures, videos, when I'm filming. And I have, I don't have terrible.
terrible lashes, but I find some mascaras just make my lashes look so sad. And this one makes them look so happy. And it makes me happy because I love this mascara. Honestly, um, I'm going to use this up and then it's almost gone actually, which is sad because it's my favorite. And then I'm going to use up some of my other mascaras and then I'm definitely repurchasing this because I love this mascara. It's honestly going to be the one that I repurchase all the time and that I only repurchase because it is freaking amazing. I love it and there's no other mascara that can make me happy. This one's ha This one makes me happy. Okay, so then I have just two palettes I must mention as favorites. I kind of use a lot of palettes and I kind of skip around my palettes and kind of use all my palettes but I've been really obsessed with these ones I feel like if I'm going to mention two palettes it's going to be these because I've been obsessed with these so the first one I pretty much have been obsessed with singly is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette mine is so messy mainly because it's a white palette but also because I've been using it and abusing it this past month and stuff I have been loving it I actually lost this palette for four months like it was literally under my makeup storage I don't know how it got there or what happened but I lost it for four months and I was literally about to repurchase it because I was like I can't live without this palette it's my holy grail it is so amazing I love this palette so this is the Lorac Makeup Pro 3 I've never had a Makeup Pro 3 or Mega Pro palette in general but when I saw this and then I saw they were bringing it back I was like I need this so I got it for Christmas and everything and I freaking love it I actually scratched one of the colors but it's a color I would never use anyways so yeah this is what the colors look like they are freaking gorgeous I don't have it on my eyes today but I have looks with it on my channel I'll try to link all the looks I have with it down below if not a couple of them in the cards but yeah I freaking love this palette I love just all the colors they're all beautiful Beautiful, but I love all the looks that I can really create with this. I feel like I can get a lot of summery looks with this, which is why I've gravitated towards it so much. And it's very summery, like I said, and I just really love these colors. And I just love any eye look I can create with this. I create my summer eye look with this, and it's just such an amazing palette. And yeah, I love how neutral some of the colors were, but I also love how there are different colors in here. And I love this palette. It's been one of my faves. Okay, so the next palette I've been loving, I've mentioned from time and time again, and and it's one I really love using within the past month. I've kind of struggled with this pen the palette, but I it's one that I've loved. So today I actually have some of the colors on my eyes. I mixed the copper shade right here and then with the gold shade and I put that on my lid. And then I just amp it up because I am filming, of course. I put like my Steel um, Kid and Karma glitter just over it a little bit to give it just kind of that wham bam look. And I love it. And I've been loving that copper shade. I've been trying to really use that. That shade up more and yeah I've been loving just using this even with some purple shadows I have I love using those purple shadows and yeah I've been really trying to work with this so I actually have truly loved that copper shade alone I would say this palette is my favorite because of that but I've just been trying to love this more and more so I guess it's a favorite because of that okay so now I have a couple brushes that I wanted to share with you just as favorites and stuff like that so the first one that I've actually absolutely been loving for the past few months is this brush from it cosmetics this is the it cosmetics it brushes for Ulta line and this one is their airbrush foundation brush or airbrush something foundation brush this is their number 102 brush I freaking love this brush it is so great if you just want to blend your foundation and airbrush it right into your skin I didn't use it today I actually haven't been using it within the past week but I do really like this and I do use it sometimes but yeah you can really just airbrush it right in you can really blend it in you don't have to stipple if you don't want to and it just really blends everything and airbrushes your skin and just makes everything look like super natural and I always take a sponge anyways to like blend everything out after but I just love this too for like applying foundation it looks so beautiful it is amazing I love this brush and then I've actually been loving a new crease brush which I got a few months ago and I'm so happy I did this is the Morphe M411 which I'm obsessed with because I, I was using a different crease brush which is still a fluffy brush but it's more flatter but I honestly love this way more because you can really get into your crease and really fluff it around it's more of a fluffy brush so it really just blends it as it goes too and it just really is great for that crease just because you can really fluff everything up and I love this and it just blends beautifully which I love I love Morphe eye brushes they're kind of my favorites I love them okay so that's pretty much it for you know makeup and stuff like that so now I guess I'll get on to the more random favorites okay so first I guess I'll talk about you know TV and stuff like that now I don't really have summer shows for a first time ever like I watch some guilty pleasure like you know reality shows but I wouldn't consider those favorites 
favorites like I do really like them and I do think they're great favorites for a guilty pleasure like I watch Teen Mom and stuff like that but it's not really a favorite favorite if you know what I mean yes I really love watching it in summer and I really think it's great for that guilty pleasure need that I need to fill but it's not like something I'm like oh my god I'm obsessed with the show it's like my life it's not but I do think it's worth mentioning so my favorite show this past like month is oh my god I am obsessed one of my friends actually suggested this to me so thanks and she was like you need to watch this show because you love station 19 and you love Jaina so you need to watch the show and I was like okay I'll watch it and that is Rosewood I am freaking obsessed with that show I actually finished season one in like four days I think like a week and then I watched season two in like maybe five days it was insane but I am obsessed obsessed with it. I'm so sad that they literally canceled it. Like obviously if they didn't cancel it, Jano probably wouldn't be on station 19. And so I think things do work out in that way. But I, oh my god, I am obsessed with it. And first of all, I freaking love Jaina. Yes, Jaina Lee Ortiz. Yes, I freaking love her. Like she is honestly my girl crush. Like Andy on station 19 and then Annalise Via on a Rosewood. I'm obsessed with both of those characters. Like, yes, if you're obsessed with characters, you know how I feel. But I am obsessed. Like, so obsessed. And Rosie and Via, I so shipped them. Like, I was like, mm-hmm. I just love, like, the storyline of the whole show. It was just so interesting. And I always heard about this show, but I never knew what it was about. I honestly, like, thought it was, like, Rosewood and Pretty Little Liars. And then hearing a show called Rosewood, I was like, I can't watch a show like that, but I'm obsessed with this show. So basically if you haven't seen Rosewood before, the premise of the show is basically it's like a cop and medical examiner show all in one. So basically it revolves around Detective Via aka Jaina and she's like a detective in a homicide unit and then she kind of has to work with Rosie aka Dr. Rosewood who is a medical examiner. He has his own private lab called Magic City and they kind of work together and they kind of have this weird friendship almost romance in a way I don't know but they kind of have that thing and I love them like I love they're just like they have great chemistry and they are like on the show love their characters together and I just love the story there's just so many like other stories within the show like that you get to see like the vulnerability of the characters and I just think it's such an amazing show it's like it's literally perfect because it has like that funny comedy aspect in it but also has that like crime aspect but it's not like too serious like it's not great Gritty show. It's not a gritty show at all like Chicago PD is but honestly I love it and it is so amazing if you haven't seen it you need to go watch it and then there haven't been really any other shows that I've been really digging but I guess now I'll talk about movies because there are a couple movies that I've watched recently that I'm obsessed with so the first one is Midnight Sun with Bella Thorne and I forget the guy's name have it on the screen that movie was freaking good I mean I cried at the end it was so sad at the end I I won't spoil it but I'll just give you the premise of the movie. So the premise of the movie is about this girl named Katie, not me, sorry, who has this rare condition where she's basically allergic to the sun so she can't ever go out and the only time she can go out is at night because she's allergic to the sun and if she gets into the sun she will basically almost die. It's hard to explain and stuff so she meets this guy and she's at, she, it's a guy she's seen walk past her house and she just stares out the window every single day and she kind of had a crush on him for many many years and then he like they find each other he asks her out and she has this huge secret about her illness but also how she was basically stalking him for like her whole life she always saw him walk past her house on a skateboard stuff like that and so she kind of has that secret and her dad's like you need to tell him and all that kind of stuff and it kind of shows their romance and she's like I'm busy during the day but I'm free at night so they always go out at night and if the ending is very sad but it has a great message to it and I love I love this movie when I watched it you definitely should watch it and then the second movie is a Netflix made movie which I am obsessed with I want to read the book next but I'll get into that and this one is called Brain on Fire I believe it's called I freaking love this movie it has Chloe Grace Mortez in it who I freaking love she was in if I stay a couple years ago I loved that movie I think she is an incredible actress and this movie is based 100% on a true story like the girl that is in 
the movie literally wrote a book about this happening. So basically this movie is about a girl who is a journalist for I believe like New Jersey paper, a New Jersey paper or something like that. And she starts having like weird symptoms where she's kind of like having almost like if you're having a flashback but it's not a flashback. It's hard to explain. She's having like delusional feelings and then she had like seizures and then she's also going through mental things where she just would do things that she wouldn't normally do like outbursts and stuff like she can't control and all her medical tests like MRIs stuff like that everything just everything came back negative so it was like oh nothing's wrong nobody can find anything wrong with her and then this doctor somebody asks him for his medical opinion and he kind of gives her an actual diagnosis towards the end of the movie I won't get into that but it's such an incredible movie because she was misdiagnosed and stuff with mental illnesses and then it's like no there's more towards this girl's story and it just really shows that like there's more to something sometimes you just need that one person to really you know give you your life back I don't know but it's such a great movie I was so attached to it and it recently just came out on Netflix so you need to watch and I forget what the girl's name was Luzanna that movie was incredible and it's 100% on a true story the girl like Chloe literally looks like the girl that like she played like she looks identical to her and so does the doctor they look so they did such a good job casting I would consider it some type of a thriller but if you like really like interesting and just really like psychological kind of things you would probably really like that it is amazing and yeah that's pretty much it for that and I don't really have too many music favorites like there are definitely songs that I've been loving but I don't know like I'm gonna share them with you but I don't know I'm gonna link my playlist down below of course but it's not I don't know like I've been loving things but I'm not I don't know I really like so Sober Dem by Demi Lovato. This one literally just came out. It's like my obsession. To the ones who never left me, we've been down this road before. I'm so sorry. I'm not sober anymore. Sober by Demi Lovato. It's just so powerful and just hearing her story back out there is freaking amazing. Everybody has their judgment to put out here about the song or just about anything. But I think this is just such a powerful song and I'm obsessed with it and I always love Demi and stuff and I always will. I've also been loving Candy Paint by Adam Christopher. Candy paint with a white Just love that song and it's just amazing. I love acoustic music. I don't know why, but yeah. I don't know. There's not really like new songs I really like. Like I really like Life Changes by Thomas Rhett. It's not new, but loving it. Life changes. What it wants for the world. Love that. It's kind of old, but only by a few years, but I love it. There's not really like any new songs that I'm really been loving, and I kind of change what I love all the time. I, and I honestly haven't been that much into music. I've been listening to more podcasts than music, and I mentioned those in my last video. Love the Media Some Alley's one, and then I also love Coffee Combos podcast. So I've been loving those and stuff. But yeah, those are all my favorites for June. Sorry they were all over the place, like I said. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Comment down below all your favorites for June. I'd love to hear about them. Maybe they could possibly become my favorites. I always, I'm always up for like new things, TV, makeup. Just let me know down below. Let me know any videos you'd like to see next down below and please subscribe if you haven't already because I post videos every single week, every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and sometimes bonus days because it's summer and I have so much fun filming and just, you know, living life. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and night when you're watching us and I will see you in my next video. Bye.